Hey, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are helping on this journey to unconditional love. And so what I wanted to share today is some messages that came through in healings that I did for people yesterday and to share the themes of what I saw and also to share, I mean, just shows you how interlinked all of our higher selves are in this journey to help us all on this journey to all of our twins. So basically, I saw, did a variety of different healings yesterday and they consisted of past life healings and, um, well, I'll go through what, what I saw. Basically, the first one was that um, they were Red Indians or Indians and they were in a wigwam and she was getting the wigwam ready for their wedding night. He was out hunting and he was hunting a bear. And he was hunting a bear to um, to lay the bear hide as the um, basically the 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 um, for them to lie on for their wedding night. Anyway, he has an accident and falls in the rocks, and I saw that happen. And the healing was is that basically that lifetime they were going to live really happily ever after. And he said to me that he's you know that's the reason why they're coming back this time is to make right what they did you know what didn't happen last time. So what was so lovely is straight after I did the healing for her, I came downstairs and I just went through a pile of papers and there was a yellow card, uh, well, a yellow envelope. When I opened the envelope, there was this card in it, which is a bear card with a crown on it. Now, what is symbolic about that is that the yellow envelope is yellow is um, <clears throat> your solar plexus and coming into your power. And obviously the king with the crown on his head means it's coming into his king power. The other thing about it is if I, um, I actually remember buying this now, but it was a while ago, but I like your face. Now on the back of it, look at this. It is totally in love, <laughs> which is just again so fab because another lady that I did a healing for, um, the turtles relate to her. So it just shows you how totally interwoven we are. So that was the first one. It was a past life healing and they'd come back to redo what they weren't able to finish last time. The next one was um, about, he was packing his car. I saw him arguing with a woman, packing his car and he had a strip and I'm like, I felt very constricted around my chest. Um, and he was basically, I, I could see that he was in a straight jacket. And he was like saying, I'm just sick of this. I don't want it anymore. And then he got in the car and there was um, a signpost ahead. And on the signpost was his twin's name. And he started driving, to, to, took the turning to, towards his twin. And I saw him throwing out the straight jacket out the window. So that was the second one. So leaving situations behind. Um, and then another one. Um which was again a past life thing where they were um, they were expeditionists and they were climbing a mountain and um, basically there was an accident on the mountain and so um, one of them didn't survive and the pain of that loss was still imprinted within them and that's what needed to be healed. But the song that came through was Ain't No Mountain High Enough. Now then somebody else sent me a song just straight after that, which was called Mountain. So I'll put that into the description box as well. Um, and then also this other one, which is again, a really strong analogy of what we are all doing on this journey because I saw them going up in a rocket. I saw him going up in a rocket into the sky, see the earth below. And there's a golden thread between the rocket and the earth or between the two twins. And what happened was um, the, the earth started to get a cocoon. Basically, I saw there was an old film called, well, a film with Sandra Bullock and um, George Clooney, which was called um, Gravity. And, she, and he finds her again in space. Anyway, I saw a clip of that film. When I went to search for it, the first comment was from Guardians of the Galaxy. And then I saw the planet, the earth below, being woven in their golden thread, right? So like a big cocoon. 
in the golden thread that was going between the two twins, which obviously is very symbolic because it shows exactly that we are lifting up the planet in the golden thread that we weave between us. So again, and the message was very clear. He said, don't let go. And when she came back to me, she said that she has been feeling, she's been following her own mission as be, and hasn't been feeling him so much. So um, the, mes the message, don't let go, was perfect. Now, when she sent me, she then sent me a song because what popped up in her song list this morning was don't let, uh, don't let me let you go. Now, this is so in keeping because I said the guidance yesterday was to write down what do you want me to do and write that down after meditation and then whatever comes through, follow it. Now, I've done that for myself and I have got resistance to it because it's telling me to do something for my twin that I'm just, you know, I know that I have to do it, but, you know, the time will be right. At the moment, it's not the right time. But then somebody sent me a video that is a video from Facebook, which is about bumping into your ex. And it talks, and when you watch it, you'll know why I'm saying it, because it is all about their interpretation of the situation is not the reality at all, but they don't tell each other how they feel because they are frightened too. So I will put the link in the description box because that is also what you need to see. And you also need to, you know, if you're like me, then follow your guidance, ask yourself, what do I need to do? Go have a meditation and then write down whatever comes afterwards and then follow it. Right, so don't, the message very clearly from your divine lovers is don't let me let you go. Um, in the, in the um, comments, there is a comment by Nearly Broke My Heart because it is a Mr. Lost Peter Pan. Now, the lost Peter Pan, and, he, and the comment says, I know I make mistakes and I can let you down, and I don't always find the right words to say. So that, to me, is my, that is definitely Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. We've had those so much, and I know for lots of us, that is, you know, very poignant for your twins and my twin and, you know, all of us, we're all in the same boat, right? So I know I make mistakes and I can let you down, but don't always, and I don't always find the right words to say. So, but the, what they want you to, the, by the way, this song has 22 against it, of course. So, I know I make mistakes and I can let you down and I don't always find the words to say. For all this searching, you're the best thing that I've found and I'll be hoping you stay. Before you let me throw this all away, before you let me say all the stupid things I'll say, take these arms and let them hold you tight, and I love you more than love could ever know. I may fuck things up from time to time, but don't let me let you go. I may get jealous and a little insecure, I may get drunk and let love bleed, but it's hard to believe that beauty like yours could fall for something like me. Take these arms and let them hold you tight and love you more than love could ever know. I may fuck things up from time to time, but don't let me let you go. I'll do my best to learn from these mistakes. I may fail, but I will always try. I will tell you every single day I can. I'll stay right by your side and staying right by your side. Take these arms and let them hold you tight. Love you more than love could ever know. I may fuck things up from time to time, but don't ever let me let you go. Well, the other thing that I was seeing really clearly yesterday was about this sense of guilt and shame. And um, about that they're feeling guilty and ashamed for, the, for, well, basically what they've done to themselves and also what they've done to, you know, this situation, right? So there are so there are themes. The one is them feeling straitjacketed and they've got to get out of their situations. The other was past life and letting go of that past life pain. And then the other was about, you know, really, you know, saying don't let go because we're here to raise the planet in love, right? And so also the fact that this is I like your face and it has the bear and the crown on the top just couldn't be better. So that is the message because that was from the comment on here. There's 22,000, right? 22 is a sign of beloved. Keep the faith and hope. 
in it there is a lost Peter Pan and he says oh just just the fact that it's a lost Peter Pan so that's why you have to be super strong in your um, energy the other thing is before I played this the advert the other healing that I did they were two black swans very specific because her divine counterpart said to me she's very rare and very beautiful and needs to be looked after because she's a black swan basically but they were black swans together now the advert that played before this song came on don't let me let me go was black swan not only that but then straight again there was when i replayed it there was another advert and it says let me shine so that is the message don't let them let you go because they will do because they're gonna be you know they're acting out of fear the other thing is remember the um facebook link in the description box watch that because again it will give you that insight into just remembering that however they're acting it's acting out of fear not because of anything else right so look beyond what the eyes can see to what the heart feels and follow your guidance like i say write uh, write yourself the question what do i need to do when you ask that question when you meditate and then write the answer that is your twin and your twin soul telling you what to do okay so if you want to come to me for healing or to join the crystal grid that i do or to have a reading then please do and the healings are amazing you know it's just so incredible to then see things show up to give you confirmation straight away just like this card he was making he was going out catching a bear for their wedding night and that's you know in that particular lifetime that was what they he wanted to bring back because he was like i didn't do it that time i want to make it right this time which is why this journey is so amazing, right? Because you are doing things this time, you're, you're trying to do things this time that you haven't been able to do in other lifetimes, right? So be strong, go working on your love vibe and remember, do not act out of fear, always act out of love. All right, oh, and the other thing is um, NFCG, Sherry, um, I noticed in her read, she's just released one and she actually talked about a change in the wind and that was very much guidance that I was getting a couple of days ago. There's been a big change in the wind. So watch her um, her new twin flame read as well. All right. I hope that helps. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.